Hi everybody. This was pretty fun. Uh, a lot of you did this at school and a lot haven't, but it's tie-dye paper towels. So this is just an ordinary white paper towel. The kind I have happen to have flowers on the other side. It's okay because the one side is white. Um, I think the best way to show you is to try and get your paper into a perfect square. You might be familiar with that from when we've made snowflakes. So this is one example. Uh, I'm gonna show you, just refresh you on how to square your, your paper. So I'm gonna set this down and I'll go over what I use to do this. Um, first of all, I used a muffin tin because it holds the colors separately. Um, I put the caps, you know, these are the food coloring bottles. I put the caps right here next to it. So orange, pink, purple, and green so that I remember which is which. If you happen to have watercolors, this is another option. They're liquid watercolors. I love them. We use them all the time um, at school. But if you don't have them, the food coloring works great. So um, Saks and Blick are the two that I've used. So here's our colors. Um, I'm gonna start with a small one. So this was the shape of the towel that we tore off into square. This is a rectangle. To turn this into a perfect square, you pick up the corner and you pull it up till you see a triangle. And then you just crease it and you cut off the extra, okay? So I'm just gonna show you one way to do this. This is super simple. Um, so here's our triangle. Then I'm gonna put my finger in the middle and bring this over. Then your triangle gets a little bit smaller and you crease it. Then put your finger in the middle. Fold it one more time. I think I'll even do it one more time. So. Now you've got this tiny triangle shape. I, uh, I put four drops of each color into the muffin tins, and then I added a little bit of water. The uh, more water you add, the more pastel your colors will be. So if you want bold, bright colors, don't add as much water. So, okay, I'm gonna dip each corner in, and then I'm gonna um, show you the next step. So I'm gonna start with the orange. I think I'll do just orange and pink for this for this one. So the longer you hold it in, the more it absorbs it. Um, I think I'll do a little purple in this corner. So see, you, you don't wanna hold it too long. I think it's sort of cool if you leave a little bit of white, but you will experiment with this. Let's see, I think I'll put a little orange here, okay. So now this is pretty saturated. I've got a tiny bit of white and I'm just gonna slowly open this up. Um, just take your time because the paper towel will tear. Oh. Whoops, okay, here we go. So there it is, it's sorta cool, isn't it? So now I'll put this over to dry and I'm gonna show you one more. Um, there we go. So this one, I might just, um, I think I'll fold back and forth, kind of uh, like this. And there's no right or wrong here. Try all sorts of different ways. So I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna fold it one more time. So I've got four corners. This absorbed a little on the table. So I might as well start with this um, pinkish. So I'm gonna go there. Um, I think I'll do some blue. Let's see, teeny purple. I'm using all the colors. So there it is. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, so this looks totally different from the last one that we did. So that's what's fun in folding it in a lot of different um, shapes. What I was encouraging you to do was to put a word, a phrase, 
a lyric from a song, a favorite expression, um, and put it on put it on your paper towel. You can even use it to frame a picture. And I think you saw um, the cow that's on the wall here. Uh, this is just one more background that you could make with stripes. Um, you can also turn your tie-dye paper towel into a butterfly and have fun. There's a million different possibilities. Play around with colors and I hope you love it.